hello guys welcome back to my channel welcome back to our viewers world where it's not just my world but it's your world for the most part it's god's world so stay blessed and don't be stressed if you're new here hello my name is Althea. don't forget to like comment and subscribe and if you're not new here thank you i appreciate all your support so today guys as i said from the, the video before this i'm going to show you guys how to apply the bt on my plants so watch the video truly appreciate the love and support So this morning we're going to do the BT. I just woke up about, about an hour ago. Um, so we're going to read the directions. It says, easy to mix, liquid concentrate, or ready to spray. So we're going to pick off the directions. Because I don't know how to spray this at all. Okay, the directions are not slurred. Okay. How to mix? Always spray to share to to always spray or store or shake. Sorry. Mix two fluid ounces to three gallons of water which is four teaspoons per gallon for a hand sprayer and apply to the fruit foliage over a thousand square foot. So it's for the cabbage looper that's on broccoli, cauliflower, collard greens, mustard greens, turnip greens, cabbage, celery, lettuce, melons, and tomatoes. And then you have the imported cabbage worm and the horn worm is what I'm trying to deter. And then they have the shade pests for the ornaments and trees. This is bag worm, fall canker worm, tent caterpillar, fall red worm, spring canker worm, gasper, moth, a lot of stuff, guys. So what I'm going to do, it says, um, if infested, if infested, okay, spray after, spray about 12 days after the appearance. Okay, so I'm going to just spray it because I've been seeing them on my plants, guys. But, um, oh, you can buy the nozzle and just spray. So I have a small spray bottle, so I'm going to do, um, it says four, I'm going to do one teaspoon of this thing um to my spray bottle because it's not even half of a gallon so let's show you this is this is spray bottle i don't have i have to get a gallon spray bottle but these 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 were these 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 are out here ready okay i'm gonna wash this out pretty much gabriel wash this out i'm gonna wash that one last time and I'll come back with y'all. Okay, so I washed it out. I washed it out. Gabriel's still sleeping. It's nice out. It's eight o'clock in the morning. How was y'all Sunday? What's up? What's going on with y'all? I see a bird nest right here. I'm looking at it. In the tree. How y'all doing today? It's going to be hot. I know that. It's going to be 90. Right now it's 77 degrees. It's going to be a high of 90, 94 today. So we're going to do a, tea, a teaspoon of this. Teaspoon. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh Lord, this is this teaspoon. That's pretty much a teaspoon. Yep. And then we're gonna put water. We're gonna fill it. We're gonna fill it all the way up. And I'm just gonna. 
bring my tomato plants with it and my bean plants. I'm gonna put water in here and I'm gonna come back for y'all. How can I just bring y'all with me? I'll bring y'all with me with y'all. I picked my first okra yesterday and I know there's another okra. Well, look at another okra there. Another okra. There. I should be showing y'all this, right? Yeah, there is another okra coming up here. And another one there. I picked one from right there and that one. I don't know, some ate it. So I'm getting some okra. Alright, so <clears throat> this is what it looks like. It's like a very faint, very, very faint down. Very. Very faint brown. I'm gonna put. I just I'm gonna put a little. Hold on. Let me go. I'm gonna tip small. Put a tip small. There you go. That's it. So I won't use this for nothing but this. Clearly, that's a smart nigga. Shake it up, and then I'm gonna just spray it. Oh. Oh. I'm gonna spray it on my on these leaves. I'm gonna spray it on my leaves. I'm gonna spray it over here first. Um, if they really didn't come up it all the way. Too much of a surge. There you go. I'm gonna spray it everywhere under the leaves and everything. Okay. So, guys, as I'm spraying my bean plant, I'm thinking to myself, like Plan B. Um, what I could do is, if the leaves do not recover and the plant does not um produce any more beans i do have more time in my growing season and i do have more seeds to plant more beans because beans take about 54 these particular bush beans take about 54 days to mature um and produce so as much as i'm spraying the heck out of them <laughs> i'm making sure that i get all the areas because the caterpillars they literally sit you see what i'm, I'm showing you guys they'll sit they'll they'll create a canopy for themselves because it's so hot and they'll leave slime on the leaves so that's what i'm that's what i'm thinking in my head what i'm gonna do if this plant doesn't recover i think that plant over there is dead so i am gonna just pull it up and plant another one or i'll just let my cucumbers just go crazy like what it's doing now and i'm gonna make sure i spray this and i'm gonna spray my tomatoes i have to cut these off these parts i don't know why Peace out, y'all see that? Let me see. Y'all can see it. Where is it? Y'all see it? Let me spray him. I'm sorry. I, I didn't mean to, but you gotta go. So he's probably not gonna live if this works. Got some tomatoes, guys. It's getting ripe. <laughs> Got tomatoes. Let me spray this. Let me spray this. He's not. He's not. He's spraying everything. Oh, so I came out. So I'm throwing the plants. I'm doing it the right way. I'm not burning the plants. Ooh, this doesn't bother bees, guys. Only the worms. 
because if that was the case, I would not be spraying this because it don't make no sense. Over here, I think, I don't want to say it because I don't want to jinx my plant. So we're going to leave it at that. But um, I've been watching my plant. Um, and I don't know what this means. Can you see the roots? See how it looks like it's been kind of chewed a little bit? I don't know what that means, if somebody, something got to it, or what. I don't know, but it's up here as well. do some research. Can y'all see it? Oh my gosh, it's just touching it. Can y'all see it? I don't know if y'all can see it. So, that y'all get the picture. Oh wow, look at that. Look at that male plant. Guys, look at that male plant. That's a male plant. Male flower. Here you are. Yeah, male flower. And then this is a female. And they're gonna come on in. And I want to take all that juicy nectar and bring it here. <laughs> Cycle of life, guys. Cycle of life. You want them chilling? Oh, I'm melon. I saw them over there somewhere. I got a little bit left. I'm going to spray it over here. Oops, hold up. My tomatoes over here. They didn't even blush yet. I think they're starting to, but they haven't completely yet. So, obviously, y'all know what these are. These are the ones that I'm getting more over here. Where you at? Where you at? Over there. And over here. So, this plant is doing very well. I'm proud. This, this plant is doing really good. I've been pruning it. The other ones, I don't know what's going on with them. But, um, we're gonna be, we're gonna be patient. Yes, we are. We're gonna be patient. Because why? Because that's what we do. We be patient. I didn't fertilize them. I stopped because. I feel like it's gotten enough fertilizer. These are still starting to I'm running out right now. Yeah, I'm gonna start training this one. As much as it's on the floor. I'm gonna start training it. I ran out. I'm gonna start training this one. Yep. Start training you. You know what it is. You know what time it is. But I gotta get you on a stalk first. Then I'm gonna train you up here. Okay, honey? Same thing with you. And same thing with you. Okay, I'm done. So, all the other stuff. See, I'm getting peppers, guys. I'm proud of myself. I'm getting some nice peppers. This is blossoming, about to give me some peppers. Bees are going through it, but I'ma hook them back on because it's giving me peppers too. So this is my dill plant that went to flower. And this, guys, is my cucumber. That I'm going to mix up some more and I'm going to spray. So yep. As promised, I came back to y'all <laughs> and showed y'all. Oh, I got two tomatoes on this plant and showed y'all um, my mix up. So I'm gonna see the progress, see what happens. Um, and that's it, so I'm not coming out here. Today is what, today is Monday. I'm not coming out here until next couple of days. Probably like next three days or so. So I realized what aphids, see, you gotta learn. The reason why you get aphids on your plants, I did my research, because knowledge is key. 
the reason why you get aphids is if you, is if you have too much nitrogen or if your um, plants are over, over fertilized. So I think that because of where I put, I have bush beans right here. If y'all remember, I have bush beans here. If y'all go back, I had bush beans, I had kale, I had lettuce, I had beets. So with that being said, they're nitrogen feeders. So when me put my beans here, the nitrogen spot up. So it's too late to plant more beans for me. So next year, I know better. Um, and I'm I'm literally just stop. I stop fertilizing, so I'm not fertilizing anymore. So um. I gotta start training these tomatoes to go across. Listen, training, it's like potty training. <laughs> you might win some this 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 day. You might lose some the next. But I try to train them as best I can. I do. And they're starting to fruit too. So, so yeah, um, that's it. I ain't gonna sprawl this video on no longer. I sprayed, it's done. My pet, my tomatoes, they're getting, um, they're growing pretty nice. So I'm happy. I got a surprise for y'all. Nothing to do with the garden. Oh, look at my red. Look, look at my red. Oh, I'm not gonna tell you, but look, if it's the if, if, those ants. I just feel good when I come outside and I see stuff. My tomatoes, all of these split. They still doing good, good. Oof, y'all doing good. I'm so proud of y'all. I should spray. I'm gonna spray y'all. I'm gonna spray this plant in the front of the house. I'm gonna spray it. But it's doing real good. I'm getting a nice tomato. So, hey guys. Whew. Go outside and grow something. It's a great experience in life. I don't care what nobody say. And you shouldn't care. I come outside every couple of days and I'm thankful. And I tell you, I'm thankful. I'm thankful for everything that God has blessed my family with, me with, my cayenne's looking amazing. I'm just thankful. Be thankful for the small things. Okay, guys? It ain't gotta be big. Small. Just be thankful.